Hello, um, since we're going to learn Android development in our education, uh, another great resource is uh, Hyperskill. Uh, it's the ones, uh, it's the company, uh, JetBrains, that make uh, the toolbox uh, where we can install uh, Android Studio. So I'm just going to show uh, a little about it. Um, you can make a free account. Uh, they used to give three months to new people. Um, and then you had, uh, regardless, when that time went up, they had some tracks that were free. And Kotlin Basics is still free, uh, so we can do that. Um, and maybe later there are some more uh, advanced versions. Uh, the great thing with this site is that they have kind of like micro lessons, where you, like reading one A4 page theory, and then you do some exercises. And they have a web interface, so you can do them on online, uh, uh, or you can sync it with your Android Studio with a plugin, and you can use uh, all that uh, the IDE provides, the syntax highlighting, your UI theme, uh, uh, error warnings, everything. Um, so you can sign up at their site, hyperskill.org. I'll uh, provide the link. Where we get seven days free. Uh, I'm going to show you how to get three months because you can still do that through recruiting a friend. So I made two accounts, one that is already signed up. Uh, so let me see, refer a friend. I'll copy this link and um, log out over here. Yes. And then uh, I'm going to get three months free. I wish to learn Kotlin, Kotlin Basics, select this track. Uh, you can sign up with different accounts. I'm just going to sign up with this email. Um, developing. And you get like this. Uh, I've noticed they're very slow, so I just press resend verification, and I get it quicker here. I've confirmed. I can close uh, the other ones. We don't need them now. And uh, this is how it works. You you'll have micro lessons where you do some exercises. Uh, and it's like a learning path that builds upon you begin at the absolute basics and you grow and build on what you've learned you can do these projects so it's a bit like project based learning some small ones there are steps so it does it's not too difficult um, for example I'll take this coffee machine sounds cool There are uh, guides how to install uh, their help center, how to sync the ID with the website. Uh, you have to scroll to the bottom and you press the support. And you could go to the here the ID edit tools. And for example, they might not have a specific one for uh, Android Studio. Oh no, here you have it. And here you can follow. I'll also link this uh, so it's uh, easier accessible to everyone. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, we can close this. Uh, let's see here. So this is how it looks. You start out, you get to personalize. <clears throat> because it's your first time, so they might get you to make some exercises to see how your knowledge level. You can just, you know, answer wrong on all of them. It doesn't matter since you're just, just starting out. Um, and this is how it's going to look. You're going to have micro lessons, some theory, uh, and some exercises to reinforce your learning. And then you begin at the absolute minimum, you know, learning what literals are. Uh, and then you get to make a step. Uh, in your project 
and it keeps growing like this. We learn about variables, uh, constants, uh, functions. You know, the it really takes you from beginner and advances you in a way that is uh, easily digestible. Uh, I used to use this for Python uh, when I was starting out, and it was very helpful, uh, especially using their uh, tools. Uh, I was using PyCharm at that time, and it's a uh, it's a great experience. Uh, I'm a big fan of JetBrains in overall. So uh, you will go through all these steps until you complete your project. Um, it auto-corrects, uh, so you don't need like another person to correct you. And when you're done with this, you'll be able to select another project and keep advancing. Uh, maybe you'll find, uh, for example, a project that seems more interesting to what you want to do. Games, uh, there are four different levels. Um, I think eventually you can get to do much more advanced stuff, which is also nice. Uh, and there's also this function that's called map. If you're just interested of an area of knowledge, like maybe algorithms, uh, databases, there's for the track and the for project, you get to see an oversight of how it looks, and the fundamentals, uh, even with your here, for example, control for all, you know, if, else, uh, switch, all those object oriented programming. And you can dive deep in here programming concepts. You can see how they connect with each other like this, which is also nice. And since you, if you do this route where you get recruited, you will have three months free. So there are other tracks. Uh, for example, since we're studying Android, we might finish this one, then advance to Kotlin developer. Uh, and then maybe you are more interested in diving more in SQL. This is pretty nice. Um, there's math. Uh, if you're interested in AI, this is a good place to start. Um, there are other subjects that go, they've added. I didn't know that. Java. I do not like it. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, there's a lot of... They keep adding stuff. Data science, natural language processing. Bioinformatics, that's nice. Uh, I'll link these things, uh, and if people still find it difficult, I may I can make a video how to set it up later. Hope this was helpful.